My name's Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. Welcome back for the penultimate race of the afternoon at Hollywood Bet's Greyville and I trust you'll all be in a good position. In a good position I mean sitting quietly in the aircon having a nice cool beverage but most importantly with some money in the tote account or whatever <laughs> account you play, money in the pocket and money to play races 7 and 8 at Hollywood Bet's Greyville. Now having a look at the betting for race number seven, I just saw Devon start smiling because he likes number three, Inga Cora, and this is a horse that he has been keeping a close eye and been with for a while. And if you look at number three, Inga Cora, they were about to retire her as a seven-year-old, and all of a sudden she came alive. She ran second to Jollification, who Devon likes earlier on, and then second to Ideal Gift last time out. Number four, Drive Bars, four to one. Number one, Kingsmead's Crystal, nine to two. And then you can get number five, or number seven, Spring Kiss at five to one. Now, Devon, you take it away. Number three, Inga Cora, a renewed zest for life. Yeah, this is my first selection. And I remember the last time she ran on the 18th of uh, December, <clears throat> I had a good look at her in the uh, parade ring and she looks an absolute picture. I mean, if you look at the source, definitely doesn't look like a seven year old. And I was just going through the form, watching some of her, her runs in the past and she can really eat up the ground into the closing stages, but she needs a certain type of ride. She's also very versatile in the fact that she can race handy. So compared to the last start where she was drawn eight out of eight she's now drawn three which is a much better draw so it'll be very interesting to see um, how she will be placed in this race but if she's like one length or two lengths just off the speed she can quicken up really really well and I don't see too much opposition in this field and I say that with all due respect I'm going to be having a nice each way bet on number three Inga Kara at around about 33 to 10. Well, we're going to keep it sweet and sharp. I'm not going to argue with Devon. Looking at the field, Kingsmead's Crystal's got a chance. Drive by number four's got a chance. Number seven, Spring Kiss. That'll be my horse to play around each way, along with number three, Inga Cora. So Inga Cora, that's going to be the horse. I'm going to stick with Devon, the horse to beat. Number seven, Spring Kiss. That'll be our backup. And then as we mentioned, the rest of them pretty much in their place. Although Inga Cora is having her 36th run, she's shown those signs of life again. And Devon, he's going to be hoping that she goes all out and she gets into the winner's enclosure. Otherwise, race number eight, he's going to have to try and get it all back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Interbase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you'd like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn.